Let me retrace some steps for you. So we're walking to the pool, and I see Bree running, and I'm not sure why. I'm standing over there behind her, walking this way. Bree's coming this way, running. I look, and Emmy's right over there, underwater. Not one person trying to help her out. I don't think anybody saw her. So here's Bree's shoes. She's running, leaves them here to jump into the water and save our child. Emmy literally almost drowned. Why are you all wet, Brie? Said to jump in and save our daughter. <sighs> Do you know how bad you scared your dad? You a little somber right now? Can I have a hug? It's the first time she's at a loss for words all morning. She was underwater for at least, that we know of, five seconds. A child will live another day. All right, so before we go on with the vlog, I just wanted to talk for a second about what happened with Ember at the pool. So she does have a life jacket that she wears when she swims, but because we were just walking in, she didn't have it on yet. And I was looking for a place to set our stuff down, and so I was distracted and I wasn't paying attention to her like I should. So the moral of this story is, if you're going to the pool with young kids, put their life jackets on before you even get there so that if they do hop in by chance while you're getting things set up, that they would always be safe. So we're glad that things weren't more serious and that she was okay, but it's just a good reminder to everyone to be extra safe when you're around the pool. Now let's get back to the vlog. One, two. Ah! Woo! Bodhi, how did that feel? Did that hurt your tummy? <laughs> kick your legs! Kick, 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 kick! Kick, 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 kick! Good swimming, Rue! <laughs> We're seeing how many people we can fit in an elevator. We got probably one more. Squished. Way too many. There's not room for you. Sorry, we're gonna kick you out. <laughs> I'm. Can't you see I'm in the elevator? <laughs> too late for that. We're gonna go ride the Heber Creeper, a train. Have dinner. No. We're gonna go have dinner, then ride the train, and then go watch fireworks. Who likes fireworks? Me. I know you do. We're at the railroad, the train station. So tonight is called Fiddlers and Fireworks. They have like a little fiddle band and then you watch the fireworks. Don't fall, don't fall. Doesn't get much better than this. Everybody, your land, this land is my land. From California to the New York Island. We're here, we got dessert, and the peach pie is delicious. Is this you? Troublemaker? Troublemaker McGraw? I don't know, I know he's a troublemaker. No, I'm not! <laughs> All the board! Alright, here we go! They're sending us off? Oh no, oh no, he's gonna shoot us. Bye! Which side of the team is loud? 
like which side of the train is louder. Round, okay. round two. And my mom chose the we name Smoke is Hot for this, this side of the uh, train. Round oh. of the competition is a little crazier. Okay, Crazy. so prepare yourself. Yeah! Dang, that was yeah. good. We you guys just give up. <laughs> All right, let's see. Let's see if Team Smoking Hot can do this. Okay, here we go. Ready? One, two, three. Yeah! We are going to have a good old fashioned dance off. Okay. <laughs> Cozy, can you say all aboard? Done with the fireworks, we're heading back for the night. Please Thank bless you. these kids, sleep better than they did last night. <laughs> Methinks they will. <laughs> We had a good night. Hope you did too. Can you say thank you for watching? Say they do. Say bye. Bye. Oh. Oh, kiss. Don't forget to like and subscribe. <laughs> <laughs> good night, Mom. See you tomorrow. Good night, Ruth.